Hi again. This is a problem in chapter 7. It's problem number 2 dealing with spiffy dry cleaners. What we have at spiffy are six different departments. And this shows the load summary chart that's given in your textbook. And it shows the number of loads that go between uh, two departments. So for example, from department 1 to department 4 in a day we've got 40 loads. Could be carts or whatever goods that are transported between these two departments. And likewise, between um, Department 4 and Department 1, we've got 60 loads. So taken together, the 60 and the 40, we've got 100 loads going between those two departments. So we can calculate the loads in a likewise manner for, for all the other department combinations. Now this is a job shop. And we've got these six separate departments, and the current arrangement for these departments is in, in this order here. Now if we order all the possibilities between the departments, this is what you see in terms of loads. Between 3 and 5 you got 235 loads. Now this is a non-adjacent load because we've got department 3 here and department 5 there. They're not adjacent to each other. So to get to that department with that load you'd have to go maybe around here and then through here or, or through here. Anyway, it's it's uh, it's a hassle to get between 3 and 5, so that's non-adjacent. Likewise, 3 and 4 is non-adjacent. And when we calculate the total number of loads there, it's 30. Uh, 3 and 6 is adjacent. 6 and 4 is not adjacent. 6 and 4 is here. We've got 80 loads there. And 6 and 5 is also not adjacent. The total number of loads going there is 160. So we've got 4 non-adjacent uh, possibilities here. So in total you've got 505 loads that are not adjacent when we take the summation of all of those. So uh, the managers of spiffy, spiffy dry cleaners are considering a uh, rearrangement of these departments within the facility and they'd like to minimize the total number of non-adjacent loads which is currently 505. So what would that arrangement be? Well, it turns out if the departments are arranged like this, so that 6 and 2 are not adjacent, 6 and 1 are not adjacent, 5 and 1 are not adjacent, and 5 and 2 are not adjacent, there's zero non-adjacent loads that go between those uh, four possibilities, those four combinations. The rest are considered adjacent. So 3 and 2 would be considered adjacent to each other, 4 and 1, and likewise. So this is a good plan for them, because you have zero non-adjacent loads.